You've probably noticed the style of YouTube thumbnail and the numbers they pull in for some prominent YouTubers. Let's jump into Canva and design our own version step by step so you can use this viral thumbnail for your own project. Start by opening a new design and selecting the YouTube thumbnail dimensions. First, let's add the YouTube icons. Open the Elements tab and search for YouTube logo. Select this one, then enlarge it on the canvas. Now go back to the Elements tab and search for Rectangle Shadow. Select this one and enlarge it so it spills over the edges of the YouTube logo. Then open the Positions tab and select the Layers panel. Drag the shadow layer behind the YouTube logo, like so, then select both layers and group them by pressing Ctrl G. Now downsize the group and place it in the bottom left corner. Then hold Alt on your keyboard and drag the group to the right to create a duplicate. Alter the angle and size of the new group, like so, then repeat this process until you cover the full width of the canvas. Now select all of the icons and group them. Hold Alt and duplicate the group, then resize the group to half the width of the canvas. Duplicate that group to cover the full width, then group all and move it behind the larger icon group, like so. Repeat the process one more time so we give our sea of icons extra depth. For even more depth, go to the Elements tab and search for Realistic Shadow Effect. Select this one and place it between the first two group layers, then reduce the transparency to 40%. Add another shadow effect, resize to half width, reduce the transparency to 50%, then duplicate and move them between the last two group layers. Now, let's add this grid-like background. Navigate to the left sidebar, click on Photos, and search for Grid. Select a grid with a dark background, then resize it so it covers the entirety of the canvas and send it to the back. Let's add the viral graph, open the app section, and search for Charts. Select a line chart, then open the Settings panel and turn off Labels and Grid Lines. Now, open the Data tab and copy these numbers into the Series 1 column. Change the color to green and adjust the line weight and marker size, like so. Now duplicate the chart and reposition the second one, so it sits directly over the first chart. Now open the Chart Selection panel and change the second chart to a stacked area chart. Change the color and transparency, then move both layers behind the sea of YouTube logos. Let's add the main subject. I am using the Canva logo, but you can use whatever subject suits your thumbnail. I have added a neon circle to the back of the logo to give it extra depth. Position the subject behind the first layer of logos, like so. Now you may want to add some wording to the extra space at the top, and these thumbnails are usually accompanied by a large number to emphasize virality. Let me know in the comments if there is another thumbnail concept you would like me to redesign in Canva, and don't forget to like and subscribe.